In this video I will show you how to successfully connect HyperTerminal on your laptop up to an FCI or Fire Control Instruments 7200 series fire control panel. This is uh, one of FCI's older panels and the programming cable you need for this is either going to be a DB9 for the very old version or a DB9 to RJ11 for the newer version of this old panel. And unfortunately with the 7200 series panel, the way it works is if you don't have the original programming database saved somewhere, uh, you will not be able to do any editing to the program. You can't upload from the panel. So a trick that everyone uses is they use HyperTerminal, they successfully connect it up to the panel, and they'll pull each data loop off one by one and capture the text of every device that shows up so that way they can recreate the program at a later time. And that's basically the easiest way to find out what's currently installed in the system. So with that said, uh, HyperTerminal, like I've stated in other videos, does not come on Windows 7 or 8 or Vista. It only comes on XP and older, so if you don't have it and you're running a newer version of Windows, uh, check out the link in the description of this video. It'll have a, a link to my Facebook group. Go ahead and join that, message me, and uh, I'll be happy to send you the download file for HyperTerminal for the newer versions of Windows. So once you have it successfully installed on your Windows laptop, double click it to uh, open it up. It's going to ask you to give this connection a new name. We'll just call this one FCI 7200 and uh, click OK. Select the COM port here on your laptop that you're going to con connect to the uh, panel with. We'll just leave it at COM1 for the example. And this is going to bring up your port settings. So this is an old panel. The bits per second are going to be 1200. And uh, everything else here will be defaulted 8, none, 1, and we'll go and put this to none on flow control. Once you have that done, hit apply and then OK. And that's pretty much it for the 7200. Um, it shouldn't be an issue connecting to it. So uh, run those settings and give it a shot. Once you're in this setting, like I said, just press uh, enter on your keyboard and you should uh, get a mimic display here of what's on the 7200. And like I said, it works great for pulling the loops off and capturing all the information that comes in uh, trouble on the panel. Or if you're doing a test, you can capture a text file of the all the devices tested. To do that, just go up to transfer, capture text, and uh, save it to a text file on your desktop and you can email it or print it at a later date. All right, be sure to check out the description for a link to our website and Facebook group. Feel free to join and uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more fire alarm related videos. Thanks.